Hi all, welcome to the best of CAT series by IMS. This is Parmeshwar this side. And today we are going to look at a question based on the concept of ratio over here. Let's see how to solve this particular question. But before that, kindly pause the video, give it a try and then resume the video. Let's look at today's question on ratios. The question goes like this. In examination, Rama's score was 1 by 12th of the score of let's say Mohan and Anjali put together. Now I can solve this particular sum using different methods. I will show you three methods. The first one will be top to bottom. So I will start from this sentence, the first sentence and then I will complete the question. So can we say from the first sentence that the score of Rama and if I compare Mohan and Anjali together are in the ratio of 1 is to 12. So if I assume a variable, so Rama score being x, Mohan plus Anjali total becomes 12x. So please note out of 12x right now I don't know how much is Mohan, how much is Anjali as of now. Then if you look at after review, the score of each of them is going to increase by the number 6. What does this mean? Rama score will go up by 6 will become x plus 6. And can we say that the total score of let's say Anjali and Mohan put together is going to go up by 12. Since we are going to get a plus 6 for Mohan and plus 6 for Anjali as well. So if I look at post review, the score of Rama will be x plus 6. And for this people put together will be nothing but 12x plus 12. And if you look at the revised score of the Anjali, Mohan and Rama, they comes out to be in the ratio of 11 is to 10 is to 3. So if I look at suppose Anjali and Mohan put together, can we say what is the post review ratio of Rama is to Mohan plus Anjali and that will turn out to be nothing but 3 is 2. I can add 11 plus 10 giving you 21. So can we say like this now? that the ratio of x plus 6 upon 12x plus 12, this thing must be equal to a 3 by 21. Post review, the ratio of Rama and let's say Anjali and Mohan put together should be in the ratio of 3 by 21 or I can say 1 by 7. So now if I cross multiply, I can definitely find out the value of x. Let's do that. You are going to get 12x plus 12 equals to 7x plus 42 will give you 5x equals to 30 or x equal to a 6. Now once I got the value of x as 6, can we find out what is the let's say post review score of let's say Rama. It must be x plus 6 and that turns out to be the number 12. So now if I look at the post review ratio, It turns out to be for Anjali, Mohan and Rama, the ratio where 11 is to 10 is to 3. But now we know the score of Rama post review happens to be the number 12. So if I say 3 becomes 12, then 10 will quickly will become 40 because I am multiplying by 4 here. So if 3 part correspond to 12, 1 part correspond to 4. So 10 part correspond to 40 and 11 part correspond to 44. So now we have the post review score of Anjali, Mohan and Rama and the objective basically was to find out the difference between the score of Anjali and Rama which turns out to be nothing but 32. So my answer for this particular question becomes option number 2 here. Let us now see another approach. So in the next approach what we can do is we are going to start from this sentence. So let's look at the post review. The ratio of Anjali, Mohan and Rama is 11 is to 10 is to 3. What does this mean? I can possibly take the post review score of Anjali, Mohan and Rama to be 11x, 10x and 3x. Now since in the review the score were going up by 6, so if I ask you before the review, the score of each of the person must be 6 less than the post review score. So before the review the score of Anjali must be 11x minus 6, Mohan must be 10x minus 6 and Rama must be 3x minus 6. And from the first sentence, what is basically known to us is that Rama basically was one twelfth of the score of let's say uh, Mohan and Anjali over here. So if I look at pre-review, uh, pre Rama upon Anjali plus Mohan, this should be in the ratio of 1 by 12. Rama is x, 3x minus 6. Anjali and Mohan together happens to be nothing but 21x minus 12. And this should be in the ratio of 1 by 12. If I cross multiply, what I will get is 36x 
minus 72 is 21 x minus 12 if I bring x on one side I am going to get 15 x is 60 x becomes equals to 4. What does this mean? The post review score of let us say Anjali, Mohan and Rama since x comes out to be 4 this number becomes a 12, 40 and 44. So, Anjali score exceed Rama score by how much 44 minus 12 is going to give you 32. So, again my answer turns out to be option number 2. Let us look at another approach to solve this particular question without taking any variable into account and we can call it to be a Jugard method. So, if you look at this particular question, the objective was to find out by how much the score of Anjali exceed that of Rama. Now, kindly understand one thing, since let us say each of the person got an increase of 6, the difference between the score of Anjali and Rama before the review and post the review are definitely going to be equal. So, if I look at the ratio over here, that Anjali, Mohan, Rama score ratio post review happens to be 11 is to 10 is to 3. So, if one notices the gap between Anjali marks and let us say Rama's marks over here, that turns out to be how much? 8. So, can we be certain here that the difference between the marks of Anjali and let us say Rama definitely has to be a multiple of 8 because the number could be possibly 11, 10, 3 or could be a 22, 20 and 6 and so on like this. But in that case, my gap is going to become much, much more. So, if you look at the gap has to be a multiple of 8 that can help us to eliminate certain options. So, if you carefully look, you look at option number 3 and option number 4 can safely be ruled out. Now, since we are left with only two options that is 24 and 32, what student can possibly do at that this particular case is they can try out with one of the option. If it matches with the earlier condition, you can mark that as an answer. Otherwise, you can mark the other answer. So, in today's video, I am let us say going to take the option number 32 to be a right. So, let me ask, how can a 8 become 32? You have to multiply it by 4. What does that mean? If option number 2 is correct, the post review score of Anjali, Mohan, Rama must be a 44, 40 and 12. So, what about pre before review? Before review, the score must be nothing but 6 less, should be a 38. 34 and the number 6. So, if you look at the total score of let us say Anjali and Mohan before the review that comes out to be nothing but 72. Rama score is nothing but 6 and if you ask if I ask you a question is 6 is what part of 72 is the answer 1 by 12 is it matching with this particular condition 1 upon 1 12th and the answer basically is yes. So, I will definitely going to mark option number 2 as the answer. Kindly note if this ratio does not turn out to be a 1 by 12 this will mean 32 is not the answer and I should have possibly marked option number 1 over there. So, what you can do is an exercise, you can kindly try this particular sum using option with 24 as the answer and see whether I get 1 by 12 as my primary condition or not. Now, try the similar question and kindly put your answer on the comment section.